Let me say straight away that in giving this midterm report, I'm convinced beyond reasonable doubt that this administration has a story to tell, a story of achievement. And I'm confident that if we are to continue along this path, we will stand the test of time and put our dear nation on the path of sustainable growth and development. I can confidently say that things have changed for the better in the Ministry of Power, Works and Housing. From a very paltry budget of not more than 57 billion for the combined three ministries in 2015, we have improved the budget size to 467.6 billion in 2016. What have we done with the budget? We have impacted abandoned roofs, stagnated power projects, uncompleted housing projects, which were the story before President Buhari came. And we have moved from there to witnessing a resurgence in construction works on roofs, construction works on power projects, and construction work on housing project sites. We are making progress in these two years. We have made tremendous progress in changing our economy and in changing our attitudes. A lot of work has been done by the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council to improve the business environment. And the response of investors in the last few months has been very positive, as the Minister for Investments will attest. Several infrastructural projects are going on across the country, and some are near completion. The government is drastically cutting costs and improving efficiency of service delivery. But in the Ministry of Finance, as we go forward, our focus now is going to be more on revenue. We borrowed quite a lot last year. We don't want to borrow as much. We want to look at revenue sources. So we're blocking leakages. We're improving, and I, I think the, the Minister of Transport talked about the work project on the uh, single window. We're funding that. We're bringing container scanners back into our ports. All our scanners are broken down. We're buying new ones so that we can assess what people are bringing in and make sure they pay the right customs duty. We're working very hard on taxation. Only 6% is our tax to GDP ratio. It's one of the lowest in the world. We have carelessly transferred all our wealth to sustain other economies by reckless importation. Rice, sugar, milk, toothpicks, toothpaste, pins, threads, tissue paper, envelopes, everything is coming in shiploads. Meanwhile, we have a powerful young generation ready to work, looking for what to do. Our own children and grandchildren, angry with all of us because we haven't provided something for them to do even after leaving school. That is the biggest threat to this country's survival. So, the appeal is, join us in taking up what Mr. President has been saying. Let's eat what we grow and grow what we eat as far as possible.